today I'm going to be teaching you how to lubricate your Rubik's Cube. Alright, so what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need lubricant, obviously, a screwdriver, and your Rubik's Cube. It also might be a good idea to have some paper towels nearby in case you get lube on your hands or on your table or whatever. So step one of this process is you need to remove all the center caps. Now, there should be a little, um, like indent somewhere on your center cap whether it's on the corner or on this middle part but you're going to put your nail in between there and you can just pop it off and then you're going to want to take your cube and you're going to want to start to take it apart so you can just kind of grab the corner or edge and twist until it comes out so once we've pulled out all of our pieces um, your core should look like this. We should have the piece, and then we should be able to see the head of the screw protruding out from the center. If it looks something like this, where the uh, screw is hidden, then it's going to be really hard to lubricate it. So what you're going to want to do in this case is take your screwdriver and loosen it until it is exposed. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your lubricant syringe and whatever kind of cap you have. I'm just going to take this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the lubricant and we're going to put it under the head of the screw. And you're just going to push down on the syringe to release some of the lube into the uh, middle of the centerpiece. So this is going to reduce friction between the screw and the centerpiece and it's going to help your turning so we're just going to do this for every single piece so now that I've done every piece I can go ahead and just throw this cap back on now don't make the mistake I did do not grab these two pieces and start spinning the middle around uh, lube will fly everywhere okay so now, depending on the strength of your center caps, it's not guaranteed that these will stay on, but it just helps to try and put these back on. Sometimes it'll push itself out automatically. So if it does that, then we're just going to have to start uh, putting our cube back together to hold it. So once I put an uh, edge piece in, you see that these uh, centers are held outward, and then I'll be able to uh, put my center cap back on, like so. So then we're going to continue with rebuilding our cube. And the last piece I usually put in is an edge piece because I find that sometimes corner pieces are hard to slip in. Alright, so thanks for watching. That is my tutorial on how to lubricate a Rubik's Cube. Hopefully your cube is better than it was before. And if you like this tutorial, uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.